So I see some bass cruising. I'm gonna walk to the other pond where there's some big, big bass in there. And I might have scared them, I think I did. I saw some swishing when I got up here. But the bass have learned that the, those will bring in food, especially must, well, the most food that they bring in is the worms. Bunch of earthworms, hold on. Got him, biggin, biggin, biggin. No, he's little, hold on, yeah, he's little. Who I thought he was big at first. He's a nice one, but he's a nice little bass, but this is a dinkster. This is a, that is a very small bass for this pond. That's around a pound and a half. That is a small bass for this pond, though. That is like, well, these are the offspring of the big boys. And these ponds are like 25 years old, because it takes a long time to grow a four, five, six, and I'm sure there's sevens and eights in this pond. In the north, it takes a long time. They like it maybe, if you can get it like, that's around right, you don't, you want it like five foot off the moss. Cause they're not even, in that lake, that's the only lake, the one I just came from where I caught that little one. Um, that's the only one that they're spawning right now. I don't know why. All the other lakes are still in pre-spawn mostly. Oh, uh, it's weird. I don't know. All these, well, they're a little bit past pre-spawn right now. They're getting ready to spawn, like really close to spawning. So that technically is pre-spawn, but it's more like the transition between, you know. Oh, that was a blue guy. I could feel. And after I catch some of these guys. Um, and don't be surprised if I pull out a big old pound bluegill. Most of the bluegill in here are close to a pound, if not that. Giant, giant, giant. Guys, we did, this is a hog. This is a hog. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Hold on, he's running towards you. Hold on, hold on. Big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that slauncher. That's a, that's a slaunch. He's not as big as I thought, but he's around three and a half, four. And they fight here. They pull. Oh, man, that's a nice one. That's a nice, that lad is a slaunch. Pink flute. Oh, my goodness, stay hooked. He's hooked good, though. Gosh, they fight so good here. Well, probably just because they're a big fish. Man, that's a nice one. Ooh. Look at that slaunch, that's a nice one. He's not as big as I thought, but. He's around three, three and a half, probably. Everybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at how fat that thing is. Oh, I get it. That's around a three pounder. Not as big as I thought at first. Oh my goodness, I'm going going anywhere. That's a nice one. That's a nice bass, guys. Yeah, that's, that's a nice one. That's a good bass. All right, buddy. Man, it's so nice. Yeah, that's a small one for here. And there he goes. Got mud him. I almost want to get out my blue. Sometimes I just get the urge. I mean, I most of the time I fish for bass, but. Sometimes I get the urge to go catch some slaunch bluegill. Just like I do crap sometimes and, and crappie and grass carp. Stuff like that. I mean, I, like, I love, just love to fish. As long as something's hitting, I'll fish. Don't worry about that. But, I mean, it's just weird though, because bass, I always have the urge to go catch bass. Alright. I'm surprised I didn't get one in this corner. Probably could have fished a little bit more thoroughly, but all right. there's going to be a big fish. There's always a big fish in this one, in this wall right here, or not this wall, just like this straight bank. Caught a five pounder here on one of my topwater videos I just made, maybe a 
three year or a month ago, three weeks or a month ago. His first cast, as soon as that thing hit the water on this bank, he just crushed it. Uh, got him. Um, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big boy. Oh my goodness. Crap. This thing is just dogging me. Guys, this might be my. He's just dogging me. Hold on, guys. This is this is a slodge. Oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous. Oh yeah, he's not as big as I thought. He's like three pounds. He's he's just a fighter, dude. He's just a fighter. My goodness, I thought he was probably six pounds. He's not even that big. Oh, he's a good one, but oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's bigger than the last one. That's bigger than the last one. I've caught him before recently, cause look, right here there's a hole. Hold on, hold on. That's around a three. He's kind of skinny, so he's around three and a quarter, three and a half. But look at this. On this side, right there. Shit. All right, right there. See that black right there? On this other side of the mouth, right where my camera's pointing. That's a. That's that's an old blue. I'd call him three. Probably if tops three. Tops would be three and a quarter, probably. No more than, no more than three and a quarter though. That's a nice fish though. Alright, buddy. <laughs> He's got wounds on both sides of the mouth now. These fish, bass are tough though. That's why I love the catch I'm doing. I'm just throwing two spots that I'm pretty sure a bass would like to bed. And see this part of it is a little bit of mud. So a bass would not prefer to bed, especially a big one. Now it gets rocks right over there, but right here it's mud. Now a bass would not prefer to, oh, got him. Biggin, 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 I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, that's what I'm saying, rocks over there. A bass would not prefer to bed on mud, they like rocks. And I just said right over there, that's a good place for, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's four, I think, yeah, he's four. Oh, he's barely hooked, oh, he's barely hooked, he's barely hooked, he's barely hooked. How do I, I, I don't know how to grab you, buddy. Oh, he's not four, I don't think. Good fish, though, good fish. Oh, let's bring him up here. But anyways, the bass would not prefer to bread on mud. I mean, although they do, they will mostly like to bed on rocks, and that's right where he was. Yep, he's not four. Well, I'll weigh him. So, um, here we go. All right. <laughs> Look at that fish. He's around three. Fish. He is 3.8, so 3.5. Right. That's got a little, I don't think he's that big. I think he's like 2 pounds. Yeah. He's not even 2 pounds, I don't think. I don't know. He's like a pound and 3 quarters. I thought he was a giant at first. He, oh, yeah. He's not, he's bigger than I thought. He's around eight pounds. <laughs> Just skip it. No, but that fish is being realistic. Whoa, oh, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Um, he's around pound and a quarter. <laughs> I thought he was like two pounds in the water. Oh, no, that's not good. I think I just put his eye out. Oh, nope. I barely, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Hopefully his eye's okay. You know? That's not good. Put, I put a hole, I put a hook right through his eyes, but you know, he can't stop it. I mean, he'll for sure live, but that eye's probably it's messed up pretty good. Darn it. Darn it. Sorry, buddy. 
and you know it happens, but that's what you're gonna get when you fish. You can't control where you set the hook. Guys, I just caught this chunky four pound bass. <laughs> Look at that fish, guys. Man, that's a slunge. Look at this, what is this? Mouth in that thing. That is a freaking tanker. Look at that thing. Golly, I got him on a, on a, um, a pearl super fluke. Got a beaded tail. His tail's all tore up. See that all right there? He's spawning. That's up. That's like an awesome fish.